close your eyes and watch your breath. Watch it coming in, all the way in, watch it going out. And see what kind of breathing feels comfortable. You can try different kinds of breathing, long breathing, short breathing, fast, slow, heavy, light, deep or shallow, to see what feels good for the body right now. When you find a rhythm and texture of breathing that feel good, just stick with it. This way you give the place where the mind and the body can get together on good terms, bring them into harmony. When the mind is in harmony with the body, and the body is in harmony with the breath, and the breath is in harmony with the mind. Everybody lives together well and everybody benefits. The breath gets more comfortable, the body gets eased. A lot of times there are illnesses that come from the fact that the breath energy isn't good. Well, you make the breath energy good and you're taking care of the body right there. As for the mind, when the body is comfortable and the mind has a sense of ease in the present moment, it's able to settle down and see things inside itself more clearly. So everybody benefits from this principle of harmony. If you try to force the breath in ways that are uncomfortable, you try to force your attention on the mind in ways that's uncomfortable, the mind eventually is not going to stay. It's going to go bouncing off. It's going to be hard for it to come back. And when it's that way, it's like a house without an owner. Nobody's looking after the house. All kinds of animals and things come in, and rot begins to develop in the, in the wood. And as for the owner, the owner's wandering around, exposed to the sun and the rain and the cold and the heat. Neither side benefits. When the owner comes back or finds that the house is an uncomfortable place to stay, all these animals have taken over, your greed, aversion, and delusion have taken over, so you head out again, and things get worse. What you've got to do is come in and clean up inside so there's a good place to stay, and then both the, the house and the owner benefit. The owner gets shelter, the house gets looked after, all the little animals get chased outside. You can live at peace. So to try to bring your mind and the body and the breath into harmony. And think of this principle as you go through the day. Today is the day where we're going to be undertaking a very large project. It's not the sort of thing any one person can do him or herself alone. Some people are good at heavy work, some people are good at detailed work. And the problem is we have lots of different opinions. If we can bring our opinions together bring our opinions in harmony, that we can be in harmony, and together in harmony we can make the day go well, get everything set up, get everything arranged. As I say, it's like thread. If you have individual threads, they can't do much on their own, but if you weave them into a cloth, the cloth can be used for all kinds of purposes. You can make the cloth really strong. So as we work together in harmony, we find strength in our harmony, and everybody benefits. We get to have a part of a project that otherwise we wouldn't be able to have any part at all. So think of this principle of harmony both inside and out, and this is what brings strength. As the Buddha says, when there's harmony in the community, it brings happiness to the community. Whereas harmony inside, the same principle applies, brings happiness inside as well.